The stunning upset in the Hamilton mayor's race has been the big story today. Well, one question is the role advertising played or didn't play in the outcome. Well, outgoing Mayor Larry DeAnne waged a high-profile campaign using conventional media, signs and radio ads and the like. Fred Eisenberger had more than 2,000 hits for his ad on YouTube. Michael Baldessero scored more than 600. Both picked up more votes than expected, but could it have been the deciding factor? And enough to turn the tide for Eisenberger, who ran a much lower profile campaign. Well, we're going to put those questions to analyst Nick Bontis of the DeGroote School of Business. Hello, Nick. Hi, Connie. How are you? I'm fine today. A big surprise in this election, and all kinds of factors, of course, went into the outcome. But how much do you think did conventional campaigning fail Larry DeAnne? I think conventional campaign did have something to do with it. I mean, you're looking at three out of four hands. Hamiltonians who are actively on the internet right now and if these people are getting all their information from websites and the like you know radio and TV ads may not have the reach that it once did conversely then did new age for lack of a better expression new age advertising help Fred Eisenberger oh, I definitely think it helped Fred first of all he had the video clip quasi commercial on the YouTube website which generated a tremendous amount of media for him then he also had other reach points on the internet. For example, he had a website on MySpace.com, which is one of the largest social community network sites in the world. He also received favorable commentary on a very popular blog, The Hammer Blog, which is at RaiseTheHammer.org. And uh, these types of media outlets not only have direct impact on viewers, but they also have offshoot media effects. For example, traditional newspapers and televisions will also pick up on the fact that there's uh, e internet advertising going on. What does this say, Nick, about future trends and the whole role of mass media and the democratic process? I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the next few elections coming up. I mean, in addition to the YouTube websites and the blogs, there's things called wikis where people can make very simple commentaries on websites. And there's also video clips. I mean, you could take very simple video clip commercials now and put them on Apple iPods as podcasts or on Microsoft Zooms. And even the new BlackBerry handheld device device has video capabilities so there's new alternative methods for promotion and also I think the city is going to go through perhaps a 311 implementation some of the largest cities uh, in Canada in the US New York Calgary and Toronto are now using 311 basically a citizen dials 311 just like you would dial 911 for emergency or 411 for directory assistance 311 would give you direct access to municipal information and once Hamilton goes down that route we'll be able to do a lot more research on what the citizens of Hamilton want out of services and then translate that information to campaigning strategy. Thank you, Nick. It'll be interesting to say what happens in four years' time. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Nick Bontis of the DeGroote School of Business.